wanted to show you this job, an inside conservatory roof clean. How we carry that out using this fantastic phantom trad pole. It's really, really nice, really fantastic. And it's ideal for anything that you want to do the traditional way. It's just a bit out of reach. So I love it for things like inside conservatory roofs because it can be a real fiddle, a real hassle if you're having to like get up on a step ladder and move the step ladder around and maybe move furniture, that kind of thing. So it's ideal for this. It's just got the little Unger OptiLock cone on the top. It's just that there, which goes in there, which is brilliant. So you can put any traditional tool you want on there. And what I've been using is this new accelerator handle. Which is really great with the flick pad there and I'm using it with an Unger S Plus channel which is my favorite channel to use in this in this handle so obviously you've got the angles you can change with this and I've been using it on 10 degrees I believe and it just goes on there nicely like so I haven't even had to extend it all that far to do this conservatory roof now first of all people only ask you to do conservatory roofs it seems when they've got to that point where they're really really bad so I find everything on the conservatory roof needs a good soaking not too wet I love this the ninja the younger ninja applicator I love the wool the way the wool hangs onto the water and soaps up the suds and I love these scrubby strips that it's got down them that just locks in place like that so I use this across the whole of the glass because there'll be fly spots and everything that needs just a bit of a soaking and I use this over all the frames as well. All the plastic frames of the conservatory, I give everything a soak first of all, and I might work in sections and work two or three panels at a time. Soak all that up. And then first of all, clean all the framework. So in order to do that, I use my trusty little six inch brass squeegee atori. And little trick for you, I'll just get one of my little seal cloths. I'll put that over the top and I get one of these car wash mitts over the top of that. Now me and Craig call this the manta ray because it was inspired by the stingray. It's kind of our own DIY version. Not really, but so, but that's brilliant. All the noodles on one side and you've got plain cloth on the other side. The cloth inside just pads it out a bit, helps absorb the water. And then I use that just to go over all the framework all the plastic framework. I initially give that all of that a clean with this. And you might need to use a couple of these. You might need to sort of shuffle it about on the, get a different surface going on there as it gets dirty. It depends how dirty the conservatory roof is. But that's how we do that first. And then once I've done all the plastic framework, then I'll tackle it with the squeegee. I put my accelerator on there with the S plus channel and I tackle all the glass. You need to use the applicator wet, but not too wet that it's gonna drip everywhere. Wet enough so that you're obviously gonna get the job done and cut through the dirt. Now, when I'm using the liquidator and the accelerator handle, I do love to use the Mormon squeeze solution. The reason I love to use this in conjunction with the accelerator is it does seem to make the solution nice and thick. It's a nice, thick, soapy solution and it's nice and slippy as well, so I really like it. I save it just for those purposes when I'm doing that, really, because it's quite expensive stuff. I don't really see the need to use it at other times. I'm quite happy with Fairy Liquid. So I'll make sure I've got some of that on my applicator sleeve, on the flick sleeve there, and I get all the glass done. That's no problem at all. Do two or three panels at a time. And then once I've done that, if I do need to do some detailing around the edges of the frame, the edges of the glass, I'll just put my little brass six inch Shatori squeegee back on there and then I'll get my scrim and just put it over over the squeegee like that and then use the rubber edge basically to just do the detailing um, around the edges of the glass if need be. And then I'll wipe around the bottoms of the frames afterwards, tidy everything up and yeah, so that's it. So with those tools there, that means I can do the whole of a conservatory roof, plastics, glass, everything, get it all done from the ground. So I find it much easier doing it that way, much easier than using stepladder or anything like that. So I hope you found that helpful. Hope there's some good tips for you there. Check out loads more like that on my channel. If you have a look at the playlists, I try and divide up all the videos into different categories so you can find them more easily. 
whatever you might be looking for, tool reviews, how-to videos like this, loads of stuff on there. So thanks for watching, yeah, see you again soon.